Minimum remove to make valid parentheses. This is Meta's most asked coding interview question so far in 2022, and we are going to solve it. So the description says, given a string S of open and close parentheses, and lowercase English characters, your task is to remove the minimum number of parentheses, open and close parentheses in any positions so that the resulting parentheses string is valid and return any valid string. Formally, a parentheses string is valid if and only if it is the empty string, it contains only lowercase characters, or it can be written as AB, A concatenated with B, where A and B are valid strings, or it can be written as A, where A is a valid string. So for this problem, we are given a string that can consist of lowercase letters, open parentheses, and close parentheses. So an example input could be this. The goal is to remove the minimum number of parentheses, open or closed, so that the string becomes valid. A valid string is just a string that has matching open and closing parentheses, or no parentheses at all. So for this example, technically we could just remove all the parentheses and that would be a valid string. However, we would be removing five parentheses here, 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 and here. We need to remove the minimum amount possible. A better choice would be to remove this parenthesis. Now we have a valid string because each open parenthesis has a closing parenthesis in a valid order. So our final result would be this. Additionally, depending on the algorithm we write, we could also remove this parenthesis and that would also be valid because we are only removing one parenthesis. So this could also be our final result. Another example input could be this. For this example, there are no parentheses. So our final result would just be the input string itself. This is a pretty easy problem to understand, but the algorithm is a bit more difficult. So let's jump into that. What we need to do is identify what parentheses, if any, are invalid. So if we had the following parentheses, we can see that we have an extra closing parenthesis. Or this example, we have an extra opening parenthesis. To identify these invalid parentheses, we will be using a stack. So looking at this string, anytime we see an open parenthesis, we will add the index of the character into the stack. So we would add index zero. Then when we see a closing parenthesis, we will pop from our stack because we are essentially saying that we found a match of an open and closing parenthesis. Then we arrive at another closing parenthesis, but our stack is empty. What this means is we arrived at an invalid closing parenthesis because it doesn't have any matching open parenthesis. So right now, index two is considered invalid. After we iterate over our string, we know that any indices inside of our stack will need to be removed from our string. So if we remove the character index two, we're just going to be left with this string, which is valid now. The important thing to understand with this algorithm is that the stack after iterating over the string will contain indices of invalid characters. That is the purpose of the stack hold on to any invalid open parenthesis positions. Also, this algorithm will work the exact same way, even with lowercase letters, we just ignore those characters. So let's go back to this example. First, we initialize our stack and iterate over this string starting at index zero. Both index zero and index one are letters, so we're just gonna ignore them. Index two is an open parenthesis, so we're gonna add that index to our stack. Index three, we're going to ignore it because it's a letter. Moving on to index four, that has an open parenthesis, so we're gonna add that index to our stack. Skipping all these letters, we arrive at index eight. Since it is a closing parenthesis, we will pop from our stack. Skipping all of these characters and moving to index 11, we have another closing parenthesis, so we're gonna pop from our stack again. Finally, we move to index 13 with a closing parenthesis, but since the stack is empty, we know this character is invalid. Since this closing parenthesis is invalid, we can just add the index to a set which will hold all of the invalid 
characters. After finding all the invalid parentheses in the string, we need to remove the characters at these indices in an efficient way. To do this, we first need to take all of the indices in our stack and put them into a set. Now we can iterate over the length of our string and start building our final result. As we iterate over the length of our string, we will check if the index exists in our set. And if it doesn't exist, then we're just gonna add that character to our final result. The only character that we should not add into our final result is index 13. So we would be left with the following string as our final output for this input. All right, so let's dive into the code for this solution. We are only given a string S as our input. So the first thing we should do is just convert our string to a char array just so it's easier to work with. So we can call it S array equals S dot two char array. And now we need to initialize the two data structures that we are going to need. We're gonna need a set and we're gonna need a stack. So first let's initialize our set. So we're gonna do a set of integers because remember the set of integers is the invalid indices in our string. Since it is the invalid indices in our string, we can call this indices to remove. And we're gonna say new hash set. And then we're going to initialize our stack, which is also going to contain integers, which is the indices. And we can just say stack equals new stack. And now we need to loop over our array. So we're gonna start at index zero and go up to the array length. And why don't we just extract our character? So we'll say char C equals S array at index I. And now we need to perform the logic to check what type of character it is. So we know we either have a lowercase letter, which we will ignore, an open parenthesis or a close, closing parenthesis. And now we just need to implement the logic to determine what type of character it is. We know we can have a lowercase letter, an open parenthesis or a, a closing parenthesis. So if C is equal to an open parenthesis first, what we want to do is add this index into our stack, right? So we're gonna say stack.add I index. If the character is a closing parenthesis, the first check we wanna do inside of this else if for the closing parenthesis is check if our stack is empty. Because remember, if our stack is empty, when we are at a closing parenthesis, then we know the current index is invalid. So we can say, if our stack is empty, we're not gonna be able to pop from the stack. So we're just gonna say indices to remove dot add I. We know that the current index is not valid. If this is not true, if our stack is not empty, that means we are able to pop from our stack. So we should do that. We're just gonna say stack.pop. And then when we exit our for loop, we're now going to loop over everything in our stack and add it to our set because anything that's left in the stack is considered invalid at that point. So we'll say while our stack is not empty, then we're gonna say indices to remove dot add stack dot pop. And so at this point, we have both open and closing parentheses that are invalid. They're added to our set at this point. Now, the only step that we are left to do is loop over our original input string and ignore the indices that are in our set. And that's how we're gonna rebuild our string. So we can say string builder result equals new string builder. And then we're gonna loop over our input string. So we'll say s array dot length i plus plus. And if our indices to remove, if it does not contain the current index, then we wanna add this character to our result, right? So we're just gonna say result dot append s array at index i. And then when we exit this for loop, we're just gonna return our result dot to string. 
So before I jump into the time and space complexity, I just want to point something out that will clarify what's going on in this algorithm. On line 11, this line is what adds the invalid closing parentheses to the set. And then on line 16, this is where all of the invalid open parentheses are added to our set. I just wanted to make that distinction because I know it may be a little bit confusing. Pretty much the reason why we need line 16 is because think about if we only had open parentheses. Let's say just for example, we had our string S is two open parentheses. This would mean that we would add both of the indices to our stack. And when we exit our for loop, line 16 is going to add those indices to our set because they're invalid. They don't have any matching closing parentheses. So hopefully that makes sense. Let's just submit to make sure it works. Our time complexity is going to be big O of N, where N is the length of our string. There are three different loops where, in the worst case, would each have to iterate over N times. So big O of three times N, but we're just going to drop the constant and we're left with linear time complexity. Our space complexity is also going to be big O of N, where N is the length of our string. Once again, in the worst case, we would have to add all of the characters from our string into our stack set and string builder. So that is all I have for this video. I hope this was helpful for you guys. Feel free to check out my public discord channel and I will catch you all later.